So, if we are to be a true Christian church, a community that's separate from the rest of the world, that gives us attention. I love tensions. I really do, because it's not a black and white answer. There's a gray area, and life is full of gray areas. But we have this tension. If we are to be the true church, drawn out of the world and separate from them, how do we reach out to that world? How do we make it easy for those turning to God to come in and join our church? The answer to that question, I, the one I'm going to offer, is not the only answer by any means. But the answer that I'm going to offer is a simple answer, but it's not simple to do. I think the way that we reach out to that world is that we see people as God does. Not as the Pharisees did. The Pharisees reduced people down to their labels. Gentile. Pagan. And we can't do that. We cannot label the people who are trying to enter our doors and join our community because they need to hear the gospel good news just as much as we did. Just as much as we still do. We have been given a freedom in Jesus Christ from the bondage of sin. We don't have to keep on sinning. So why do we keep putting bondage on other people when they walk into our doors? Whatever it is, do we make people do something differently than they would have when they walk into our church? All right, it's a challenge time now. I can't come up here and not challenge you to do something that's less fun for me. So. See, it's all about me. That's what we're thinking about. Sorry. <laughs> you, you'll notice I have a weird sense of humor. So, uh, all right, seriousness. How are you doing in the area of labeling people? These are all rhetorical questions, too. Even more so, how are you doing in the area of not labeling people? Is it easy for you to see people as people? Or is it easier for you to see people as it? Are you able to move past your first thoughts? Is that something you can do? Does your definition of church, does that line up with God's definition of church? And even more importantly, does your definition of church help those who are turning towards God or hurt those who are turning towards God? Now, those are all individual questions that you have to, to deal with, but here's a corporate question for everybody. What is one way in which BRC can be more of a church that looks at people like God does instead of a church that looks at people like Pharisees do? Now, I'm not saying this church is, is bad at that, but still, if this church, BRC, on a scale of 1 to 10, is a 9 out of 10 at looking at people like God does, there still is room for improvement still get better. What's one practical way that we as a church can get better at that? If you are a person who struggles with labeling people, first of all, you're not alone. I can't stand up here with all my 30 years of experience and say that I have it all, fun, all written down very well. I don't. It's not true. But I have some advice if you are willing to listen. If this is something that you struggle with, the answer doesn't mean you just force yourself to look at people differently. That's not necessarily the answer. If you struggle at labeling other people, instead of focusing outward, you need to focus inward. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a valued, treasured prize to the living God who created the world? God calls us a gift to Him. We are in His family. That's how you should see yourself. And if you struggle with seeing other people and labeling them, take a look at how you see yourself and work on yourself first. These are real questions that each and every one of us have to struggle with and wrestle with. But it's not easy. If it were easy, everybody could do it. Our key today is 
we need to move past our first thoughts on other people and on the church. And we need to see them as God sees them. We need to gather together and find out what God is calling us to do as a church. Amen. Uh, right now, uh, Pastor Dan is going to give us a song that kind of, I think, ties it all together just in a different way than I would say. So, thanks, Dan. <laughs>